Hello everyone and welcome to the Anime Zillia and today we will be going over and opening packs for Cardfight Vanguard Astral Forces. This is a new booster box that has just dropped that does support for Genesis, uh, Angel Feather and Gear Chronicle. Two clans that I want to kind of go after are the Chronojet Dragon, not Chronojet, the Chrono Fang line even, and the uh, Angel Feathers. And this box that has it, so I thought, why not? Let's go for it. And this video is slightly different. You got me commentating because the sound file got corrupted and staticky. So I'm just explaining here, like, the stuff you get in it, which is the promotional arts for both the anime and for the video games, which both are great. Go check them out if you haven't. Yeah, I'm using scissors at the beginning because, like, it's been such a long time since I've opened a box set that I think the last one I opened was, uh, Ultra Rare. So, yeah, been a while. I didn't want to have a on camera, so I decided to use scissors, but I didn't really need to in the end. So I'm just showing off here, like, the force markers and the gift markers that we get, um, and I get a bit confused because I've never actually seen a Force 2 marker before. Uh, surprise, surprise. So I always thought they were like different cards. Just like lengthways instead of... So basically like that normally. Uh, for 2. And then for Force 1, or Protect 1 even, it's like that. So I thought they are like kind of different. Oh look, green screen. Oh look, I wonder what card I have. But yeah, no, my intro was pretty long. Pretty much I'm explaining here what I've just said to you now about the clans that it's entailing and what I want to get from it. Uh, I do want to hear from you, though, what you want for to see for this clan if you're interested in any of the cards after all. Uh, that'd be quite interesting to find out, so leave all your thoughts down below on that regard. And it may look like I'm a bit blurry in this video, which I do apologise for, but I was making the camera, which is actually my phone, Focus on the cards more than myself, because obviously they're the main highlight. Now, I'm reading a certain card with a skill because she has 2500 attack and she can't be normal ridden, so I thought that was a bit kind of unique. Uh, turns out it was just a common card, but it's still a nice card to add to the deck nevertheless, because you can bring her back with Arclamelia's skill. Um, if I get it, that is. Angel Feather! And we get another Angel Feather card. That is the double rare from the um, the packs that we opened first of all. So we start off with a double rare. Not the end of the world, pretty good. Nice easy start. So, here I'm showing you, like, the rarest uh, Angel Feather card that I pulled. Um, and I'm just saying, like, I'm putting my cards into a binder here. It's been, like, a very long time since I've bought cards like this. So, I do have a collection of loads of premium cards, uh, which I'm not actually using at the moment. So, who knows? Maybe I might do a giveaway on them later on down the road. We'll see if anyone's interested in that. Because i got some quite good rare cards that I don't think are going to be much use to me. Because I play standard more than premium. Genesis. Angel Feather. Gear Chronicle. Gear Chronicle. Angel Feather. Yep, that's right, we got the main grade 3. We got the box up, and uh, that was only in the second pack. It's a Vanguard Rare, if I believe. Uh, I'll double check that. See, as I was saying, look, I got all these premium cards I'm not actually using. Uh, so they're just kind of collecting dust in this binder here.
Yeah, it's a Vanguard Rare. I'm not going to show you what else I pulled, because they're all in here. Genesis. Gear Chronicle. Angel Feather. That's a nice looking arc. That, that art's quite nice. Angel Feather. Gear Chronicle. Genesis. So basically, I do get a little bit confused as to what clan's clan. Uh, Angel Feather. I get a bit confused as to what sort of like clan uh, I'm looking at because again, like I said, I'm looking at it in the reverse camera of my phone. So I'm going based on the design more than the actual like sort of reading. At least with Gear Chronicle, it's a different color, like it's purple. Where, um, what do you call it? Uh, Genesis and Angel Feather, they're both like a goldish type of color. This is something spicy. This is something spicy. Yep, it spoils you big time as soon as you open it. It really does spoil you, look. Valkyrion. Borderless. Uh, Uranus. Borderless. Uranus again. Borderless. Uh... Astral Astrius, boardless. Anna Grey 2, boardless. And finally, the Grade 1, that's also boardless. Now, an entire pack that's dedicated to that, I don't know how... Oh, and an Astral Plane, but we don't need to worry about that. I don't know how rare those actually are. So, for me, I'm thinking that it's actually, like, really, really rare. And uh, it's worth quite a lot. But, um... Who knows? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm going to need you lot watching this video to let me know what you think about that. Is it actually really rare or is it just you get them per like set? I mean, if it's per set and you get it for either Genesis, um, Angel Feather or Gear Chronicle, I would have preferred that in Gear Chronicle because the problem I have, and I explained it in this video as well, that when I bought Booster Box in the past, I would go for a certain clan, but then get more cards for the other clans, so that I would basically be like, uh huh, well now I've got this super rare Vanguard special rare card for, say, uh, well this example, Genesis. I don't have a Genesis deck, so I'm going to have to try and build one, so I can use these cards. And the reason why I decided to go with Astral Forces is because it's two clans that I like to main. Angel Feather and Gear Chronicle, and I thought the likelihood of me getting one of those clans uh, and getting good cards for them is pretty high. But as you saw there, I got Genesis, and uh, that luck always continues in that sort of sense. Gear Chronicle! Angel Feather, no Genesis! Genesis! Angel Feather. Gear Chronicle. Angel Feather. Nice design as well. Genesis. So that's a triple rare that we just got of a borderless card. And um, that's for Genesis as well, which is the grade one. Still nice. Clean, as they say. So I actually remember what I'm talking about in this section. Um, anyway, more packs, shall we? Oh, I, oh, I remember. I was telling a story. I don't know if it's this time or if it's like when I pulled the borderless cards. But I was saying about how my luck recently has been pretty kind of weird and whacked. Like, I locked myself out of the flat, and I was saying about how the luck I've been having in this box set 
makes being locked down in my flat all that much more sort of appealing. And I said, I don't mind being locked out every week if I get pulls like this from box sets. Corona Fang Tiger is the only part of the line that I got, which is a bit unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Genesis. Gear Chronicle. So there's a long pause there. I was talking about something, but although like between recording this part of the video and like that video, it's only been what 10, 15 minutes, and I forget what I say. But we've got Gear Chronicle, Angel Feather. Gear Chronicle, dumb looking design, Angel Feather, Angel Feather, Gear Chronicle, grade 4, nice design, pretty cool, I think that was one of like the uh, the astral flashback type of mons, and then Angel Feather to finish off. So yeah, uh, basically here I'm explaining like my use of the Angel Feather Clan. So I was basically saying like like my uh, play style with it and how I can merge like the two kind of uh, archetypes of Archlamelius, if that's how you pronounce the name, and um, uh, what's the name? Zariel, that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, together because the two actually do complement each other pretty nicely when you build a deck so like if I can get another copy of Archlamechius or something similar to that then I think I can make the deck work pretty well and I might actually start going to tournaments myself once you know the whole pandemic thing sort of goes away that's something I really do want to start doing I want to play sort of like locally and competitively but there's nowhere near where I live that does that so we'll have to see about that in the future Angel Feather with a gun. Genesis. But you know, playing Vanguard in tournaments is something I've always wanted to do. I always love playing the game, uh, both online and like sort of physically. But I just don't have anybody around here that plays it. But if you ever want to talk about strategies or you want to talk about cards or deck building, by all means. Drop me a comment or, um, you know, drop me an email somewhere. If you want to try and contact me, by all means, just give me a shout. And uh, I'm on social media, on Twitter, so follow me on there and you'll see lots of cool things and interact there as well. I'll leave all the descriptions and the links down below. So you don't need to worry about going and hunting and finding. It'll be all there, ready for you. Get Gronagoma! So basically here I'm down to my last two packs, I was deciding which one to go for, you know, leave good pack till last, uh, so I went with left, and uh, we'll see what that brings me. It brings me a Gear Chronicle, a Genesis, Gear Chronicle, Gear Chronicle, Angel Feather, Gear Chronicle. I think I said Genesis when it was an Angel Feather earlier. Angel Feather. So, it's the last pack. What's in the last pack? Ooh, surprise, surprise. Ooh, giddy, 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 goo. Can you hold your excitement? Because you 
She always saved the best pack till last. That's what they said anyway. K Chronicle. Angel Feather. K Chronicle. That looks too human. I don't like that card at all. Genesis. Gear Chronicle. Perfect guard for Gear Chronicle. And that's actually a nice looking art. Not the best perfect guard because we still need uh, the, the OG. And we have Genesis to finish off. So it wasn't a Flames pack to finish off. However, it was a pretty good booster box overall. Uh, the pools were pretty nice. The card arts are all nice. And the clans are all specific to what I like, which is why I bought it. Um, so that's pretty much all the packs that are there to be opened. Um, I might cut the video shorter than it actually is in the background. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, pack opening. If you want to see more, then let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, but yeah, I'm just showing you like all the good pulls that I have now um, and what I got then. Uh, let me know your thoughts and what card you want to get from this booster pack. Uh, I'll, you know, if you like a certain card from here, let me know. And who knows, maybe something in the cool in the future might come cooling. Maybe a giveaway, or maybe there'll be something spicy in the comment section in the upcoming days. Who knows, stay tuned. Uh, so like the video if you like the video, dislike if you dislike, comment down below all your thoughts and feedback. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the Anime Zillia today for more Cartoon Vanguard content and other anime related content. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay weird. Remember, you can fly if you have wings, Tosuya. That is still cheesy, no matter how many times you hear it. Bye.